tutorial, we're going to look at how we bring meaning to scores on a test or measure. And so we can take a, a, a raw score on a test, any standardized test, and convert it into a, a percentile. Sometimes we want to know, for example, in an educational setting, how are students performing uh, compared to other students. Uh, one of my areas of interest, adolescence uh, and psychiatric hospitalization, I want to know how well they're coping. And so I can compare their coping score to uh, uh, a larger distribution. And so here I have a, a distribution of 400 adolescents, and uh, I have one adolescent who scored a 24. Remember uh, in a previous lecture I talked about the crisis stabilization scale, and scores could go from minus 36 to plus 36. But that really doesn't tell us how a student is doing or how a client is doing. And so. Uh, I take this score of 24 and I want to bring meaning to it. It's just a score right now, but how does this score of 24 compare to other adolescents? And so what I do here is uh, um, I, I create, uh, I, I get some descriptive statistics and create a standard score, and then I'm going to show you how that can be used. Um, I go to descriptive statistics, and I just click descriptives here, and uh, um, I've already put the coping variable in. I just uh, moved it from uh, uh, down uh, here, uh, and uh, uh, I go to uh, ten. This is getting stuck there. Coping, and uh, click and move it, and then uh, uh, I already have everything checked off that I need, uh, and I hit uh, uh, save standardized variable. So it's going to create z scores for me, and I'll show you how it does that. So when I get my output here, I have a minimum value in my distribution. I could go as low as minus 36. Nobody scored minus 36. The lowest that somebody scored of these 400 teens was minus 28. And of this group, uh, it was a mean of 6.01 and a standard de deviation that says 12.72693. We're just going to say 12.73. We're just going to round it up to the nearest hundredth here. Um, and notice uh, it computed uh, standard scores for me. So how did that happen? Well, um, simply it takes each score. Let's take the score of 24. And 24 minus the mean, which was 6.01. And then it divides that by the standard deviation, 12.73. And you get 1.41. And so this is pretty much it, 1.41. There's a little bit of rounding area, uh, error there, but that's, uh, yeah, 1.41. So it does that for each of my scores here, because we're just rounding to the nearest hundredth. Um, and then I want to know, well, where does that 1.41 fall in terms of a, a percentile? What does that mean? Well, in your book, you have a, a Z table, and I've copied it right here. And so we can go... Uh, to the z-score of 1.4, and we go to the hundredth, so this is 1.40, this is 1.41, and we can see we're in the 0 0.079, or the 7.9, uh, uh, the upper 7.9%. Um, in other words, uh, if, if we're in the upper uh, 0 0.079, um, if we take our calculator here and we go uh, 1 minus 0 0.079, um, that tells us that we're in the 92nd percentile. So that's how I would uh, interpret this. We're in the 92nd percentile. There's, uh, uh, we're in the upper 8%, uh, aren't we? So um, now, doing this again, what happens if we have a negative value? 16 and we have a negative standard score. Um, well, that's minus 1.729, so about minus 1.73. Notice that we don't have uh, negative values on this, so we go to 1.73, and instead of having to subtract from 1, it's just there. We're in the 4.2 percentile. So for negative values, this table is great because uh, I don't have to do anything, but for positive values, I take 1 and subtract this value, and uh, that would tell me that I'm, uh, uh, you know, for positive values, if it was 1.7, uh, uh, 
uh, what did you say, 1.73. If it was 1.73, um, you know, that would tell me uh, that, uh, what, I'm in about the 96th uh, percentile. So, 95.8. So, anyway, that's uh, how we use this table in your book. Hope this is helpful.